Hey everyone, Double P here. So in today's trading session, uh, we attacked, uh, I attacked uh, Telsa and I sent it out to my group. So let's get this out of the way. So here's a text alert. <coughs> here's a text alert sent out to my uh, group. Uh, excuse me. Um, 14th of July, 2023, Telsa 260 strike put. I'm looking for 25% profit, 10% stop, stop loss. Let's get that out of the way. And then you'll see what I made today. I'm just getting this out of the way right now so that we can get into the lesson. So 51.68%, uh, 48% thousand eight hundred right there don't copy and steal my stuff uh, you gotta know how to trade so let's get into it margin account margin account right there so stock is in real time uh, equity options real time futures and futures options uh, I have the free on the platform with other instruments I don't need to pay for the speeds Forex real time others real time so real time account <clears throat> All right, so let's get into it. Look at the descending pattern. What do we do? This is the box right here. The box is uh, volatility. The box is uh, price action. The box is volume. The box is support and resistance. Where did Telsa open up? Telsa opened up above the box and opened up way above the box. So what do we do when Telsa opens up? or any position opens up way above the box, two things are gonna happen. If it's super strong and it opens up way above the box, then it's gonna be a long day and it's gonna go long rest of the day. If it opens up way above the box, it's gonna come crashing back down and, <clears throat> and either touch the box or go through the box. So what did I do? Uh, because uh, Telsa opened up so strong, I'm waiting. I'm on a two-minute uh, time frame now. I've switched around my time frame, so now I'm trading on a two-minute time frame. So it's kind of smooths out the smoothing factor for the time frame. Instead of me going on the one-minute time frame, I'm now going on the two-minute time frame. It's a little bit easier for me, uh, less headaches, less chop, le less whipsaw back and forth all around. So two minutes, just perfect. Still the five minute setup, right? Five minute setup, looking at everything. Well, and you're probably gonna say, well, how do you do it on a five minute setup if you're going in on a two minute candle and you're going in at the uh, cash open and you're trading stock or options? That's pretty simple. This is the law. I don't violate the law. 99% of the time, I don't violate the law of the box. It's when I violate the law of the box, that's when I lose money, or that's when I take a bad position or take a bad trade, right? So here it is right here. This tells me everything I need to know, what's going on with Telsa or any position for the rest of the day or the rest of the morning or however long I want to be in that trade, right? So we wait, we wait, and we wait. So on this candle here, this is when I send out my trade to my guys. I'm looking right here. This is a spinning top right there. Let me just uh, move this up here so that you can see it a little bit easier. This basically is an in, uh, elongated spinning top, right? Uh, so right here on this, another spinning top, right? You could say this is a one white soldier, but the way the setup is, look at the setup. So uh, I consider this a, a fat spinning top, and this is a, a narrow spinning top right here. I'm looking at, sorry, right here, this spinning top right here, right there. So that's the setup, because that's the true spinning top right there. Let me just uh, open this up a little bit more so that you can see it if you're having troubles. Let me open that up there. Let me move this over here so that you can see the channel, all right? So right there, 
938, 940, that's my setup coming down off of this, coming down off of this uh, descending uh, channel. That's when I sent out the trade to my Platinum X Power Option Trader members. So you got it either at 938, 939, 940, but most likely 9, 939, 940, you got the trade. So right there on that spinning top, that's uh, 938. Because <clears throat> I got in at 940. I always got to wait. When I send the trade out to my Platinum X Power Option Trader members, I got to wait. I can't front run the trade, so I got to wait. I got it at 940 right in this candle right here. Beautiful, right? So what am I waiting for? What am I looking for? There's my setup at 940, getting in on this candle right here. And when do I get out? I get out right here. Why do I get out right there? Because that's the end of the move, right? Look at that gigantic move right there. I get out after the low. I try to get out all the time on the low. When it hits the low, because it's really hard, because here was the low, there here was the low, and then here was the low as well, right? So it's very hard, but it's not hard because I don't get out of the trade. If the algorithms are in this channel, because you can see the channel right there as clear as day, I marked it out for you. If the algorithms are in that channel, I'm staying in that channel. I'm staying in that trade, right? So it doesn't make it that difficult. Yes, it went outside here, but guess what? I'm drawing out my support and my resistance levels, right? Support, resistance, support, resistance, support, resistance. I'm drawing out my levels. I'm mapping out my levels, my price action. This is pivot points, by the way, mapping it all out. So these are lines of defense. I can wait. I can wait because it opened up, right? Opened up on the shoulder, close on the heel, open up on the shoulder, close on the heel, lower lows. You can see the descent, you can see the uh, stair slate, sorry, the staircase pattern to the downside. You can see the pattern right there, right? So I marked up this level right here, 269.04, and then I just wait. I'm waiting for this setup right here right look at this long wick when this tail hits here at 267.80 i'm like okay but it closed bullish right that's a bullish hammer right here is a bullish hammer for a reversal here's a spinning top here's another spinning top this is consolidation of spinning tops these two spinning tops right here and then okay now it's going to take off again so i'm out right here after the low that's the way you want to be able to trade and then you can look over here what's Tulsa doing now right so you can see the pattern of what Tulsa doing we can come over here I can draw the pattern for you because it's not much of a channel so what I can do right here is I'll take this because that's the move right there what's that that's consolidation. That's low level consolidation, right? This is off of the low, made a nice move, consolidation like crazy before it takes off to the next, before it takes off again. So I can draw this channel for you or the box, sorry. I can draw the box for you. What do we have here now? So it's stair stepping, it's stair stepping its way back up nice and slowly consolidation right here all right so let me remove all this so that you can actually see it so that's it from double p i hope you enjoyed this end of the day trading session it was a fantastic trade monster trade in and out with telsa that's it i'll see you in the next trading session take care